Hey guys, it's Take Impact and we are back again with another awesome video. Today I'm gonna be showing you the first look of Android Audio on Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 and how you can install it on your Redmi Note 4. So without any further ado, let's get started. This ROM is basically an unofficial Lineage OS ROM based on Android Audio. You will find the download link in the description below. First of all, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and TWRP recovery installed on your device. If you don't have that, just head over to the description section below, I have put all the links there. Now to boot into TWRP recovery, switch off your phone and then hold the volume up and power button together until you see the MI logo on the screen. Once you are in TWRP recovery, at first you should take a backup, if anything goes wrong, this backup will serve as a restore point. Now tap on wipe, then tap advanced wipe, select Dalvik system data cache, then simply swipe to wipe. Go back and tap on install here. Now you have to select the lineage OS ROM which you have downloaded, then swipe to flash the ROM. Once the installation is done, go back, tap on wipe. Hit format data, here you have to type yes, then hit enter. Now just press this reboot system button to boot into the latest Android Audio ROM. As it is an unofficial early build of this ROM, it may have few bugs here and there. So do not expect the ROM to be extremely stable. And as of now, you should not use this ROM as a daily driver. When your device boots up, you will have the latest Android Audio right on your Redmi Note 4. Well, you will get all the amazing features and look of Android Audio. Starting from the notification panel, the entire settings menu, new shortcut panel, notification dots, new icon layout, and also the new easter egg, which is an octopus. Everything is changed and very organized. However, as I have said, it is an alpha build, many features may not work properly. Like the fingerprint sensor is not working, the ROM can't detect the SIM card, Bluetooth is not working properly, it crashes many times. So I will not recommend anyone to flash this ROM as of now. Whenever the Redmi Note 4 gets a stable Android Oreo custom ROM, we will definitely make a full review on that. So be sure to subscribe to our channel. So why should you flash this early build of this ROM? Well, if you are getting impatient, you can back up your existing ROM and flash it to try out the look and feel of the Android O. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos in future like this. And I will catch you in the next one.